no pressure then Moses Casiedo. At just 21, the Ecuadorian midfielder has already entered the record books following his £115 million move from Brighton to Chelsea. Opting ahead to Stamford Bridge after tearing down Liverpool, it means the man who only a year ago was playing on loan at Belgium's side Bichot now holds the British transfer record. And the fee involved also catapults him into the list of the top 10 most expensive football transfers of all time, bumping Paul Pogba and Romelu Lukaku out of the top 10. Now the question remains as to whether Chelsea's new star will live up to the billing having been instrumental in Brighton qualifying for Europe last season. We reflect on the 10 most expensive transfers of all time. If we were rating this move 12 months ago, the analysis would have fallen short of complimentary. Fast forward a year, and the player who underwhelmed in his first season at the Etihad has since played a pivotal role in their 2022-23 treble. Work rate, creativity and threat, the 27-year-old now looks the player that Guardiola envisaged him being when he sanctioned the eye-watering fee to get him from Aston Villa. The challenge for Grealish now is to maintain standards. Should he do so, the extortionate fee will soon be forgotten. There are two schools of thought over Anton Griezmann's spell at Barcelona. Some viewed him as a flop whose fee unnecessarily contributed to Barca's current financial woes before he was sent packing back to Atletico. Others argued that often deployed out of position, his displays merited far more credit than the merciless Spanish media were prepared to give him. Griezmann is now back at Atletico for a relatively paltry £17 million fee. Regardless of mitigating factors, it was a stint that represented another financial disaster for Barca. One performance doesn't make a player, especially one that cost £104 million. But the display of Enzo Fernandez against Liverpool on Sunday was enough to excite fans that Mauricio Pochettino has the playmaker he needs to bring success back to Stamford Bridge, and the 2022 World Cup winner will soon be complimented in the middle by having Casado alongside him, a partnership which oozes promise. Fernandez has shown enough to suggest he can be a long-term Premier League star, and just as well, he's tied down to Chelsea for the next eight and a half years. The 2023-24 campaign could be a defining one in the career of potentially mercurial João Felix. He was 19 when he joined Atletico in a deal that made him the second most expensive teenager in history behind Kylian Mbappe. Injury issues hampered his first two seasons before his apparent breakthrough, winning the club's Player of the Year award in 2021-22, but a subsequent fallout with Diego Simeone saw him sent to Chelsea on loan last January. The Blues have opted not to pursue a permanent move, with Felix now fighting to get back in favour under Simeone in order to justify the fee he needs to. In this era of a madly inflated market, an initial £88.5 million fee potentially rising to £115 million represents a good price for a player with the limitless potential of Jude Bellingham. The early signs are good, with the England star impressing and scoring on his La Liga debut at Atletico Bilbao on Saturday. To say there is a long way to go for him at the Bernabeu would be a ludicrous understatement, but this is one extortionate deal that may just end up being worth every penny for Real. The most recent signing on this list, Chelsea paid a huge fee for Casiedo to prize him from Brighton. Mauricio Pochettino managed to beat Liverpool to his signature, landing a significant blow to a top four rival. If a loss of form plagued Coutinho at Barcelona, then it was injury woes that did for Ousmane Dembele. The amount of add-ons that came with the initial fee for the Frenchman underlined how the Spanish giant saw him as a star of the future, but during his six years in La Liga, only once did he hit the 30-game mark in a league season. He's now joined PSG on a £43 million deal, and like Coutinho, has represented a huge net loss for the Spanish Giants. At 26, 
Dembele still has time to prove his place among the elite, as he often did in flashes in Spain, but steering clear of the treatment table will be critical. Philip Coutinho winning three league titles and a Champions League after leaving Liverpool suggests a man who lit up the new camp alongside Lionel Messi and Cole. In truth, he spent one and a half underwhelming years in Spain before tasting European glory on loan at Bayern Munich, returned to Barca but failed to hold down a first team place and was eventually shipped off to Aston Villa for £17 million. The Brazilian who wowed so regularly in red may argue the medals were worth the move but that would mask the reality of the transfer. A total of 212 goals in 260 games is a staggering ratio regardless of the domestic dominance of the team you're in. Mbappe's star has undoubtedly shone brighter since he made his own move to Paris, but like Neymar, you sense that if there is no Champions League winner's medal in their grasp by the time he inevitably heads to Real Madrid, the jigsaw will remain incomplete. On the field, Mbappe has been worth the money, but the current power struggles and transfer sagas of it could yet see him walk away a villain. Six years on from the transfer that shook the world, Neymar leaves PSG for Al Halal in Saudi Arabia without a Ballon d'Or to his name or a Champions League title. There was 118 club goals, numerous moments of brilliance, five league on titles and three Coupe de France wins, but the man charged with elevating PSG to the European glory they craved ultimately fell short of his task. It's a brutal standard to hold him to, but then £198 million is a brutal amount of money.